Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet a, another video here at the channel. In today's video, we're going to have a look at this monitor from Annie Cine. It is a touchscreen 7-inch monitor, and it has a lot of great features built in. So, But before we go to all of the great features, we are going to have a little bit of a disclaimer here, because the product were sent to me by Annie Cine, but they did not ask me to say anything specific, they just wanted my honest opinion about the product. And that's what I'm going to give you. So with that out of the way, let's have a look at what is inside the box. And since this is a pretty long video, if there's some particular parts of this video you are not interested in, use the chapter selection down below and um, jump to the part you actually want to hear something about, or otherwise just have a look at what's inside the box. Let's go. Okay, so here we have the Annie Cindy 4K monitor, and it's 269 euros. And for my friend in the US, it's 255 dollars or around that price. And uh, let's just see what we have in the box here. So we are carefully opening the box here, and it's an on camera monitor, of course. And in here we have a manual and a cleaner for the screen. And here we have the monitor itself. And we're just going to throw this away and uh, take the monitor out of this plastic bag. And as you see, it's a um, little bit nice. And this is very nice. Love that sound. And um, we'll have a look at that later. Let's see what's in the box as well. We'll take this off and here we have an attachment to the monitor so you can mount this on your camera and also we have two hdmi cables a mini and a micro and that's pretty nice and that's all we have in the box so here i have the monitor and it has a very cool feature actually you can turn that on and off of course but it has like this diode up here and what that that does is that for instance, if we go here on, I have my backlight is on 1%, but if it's getting pretty dark, you'll see it will adjust like that, if you can see that on screen, of course. And as soon as I let go, it will readjust again. So if I'll just let it go dark here, then you can see it went from uh, being 1% uh, to 8%. So that's just a super nice feature as well. So let's have a look at all of the ports and stuff inside of the monitor as well. Here we have the monitor and as you see, it's built of a hard plastic and it feels sturdy enough. So here on the side, we have an SD slot and also we have a mounting point right here for a quarter inch. On the top, we have the menu button and the diode I was talking about a second ago, and we also have a functions one, two, and three button, which can be customized in the menu. On the side, we have a power button on and off. We have a quarter inch and a headphone jack. And here at the bottom of our monitor, we have our HDMI in and out ports. We have a power port, uh, a 12 and a 8 volt power plug and uh, also we have a quarter inch at the bottom. If you are interested in getting SDI ports, you would need to take the Andysyn 7CS, which has that. That's a couple of hundred bucks more, but um, I don't need that right now. So on the back, we have two fans for ventilations and also we have two battery plates. And in this case, it's Sony NFP battery style like these, and these can be inserted very easily just by doing so. And uh, you can have two of those in, and you can actually also swap them if one of the batteries are running low. And that's a nice feature, I think. On the side of the monitor, we have a SD card slot that can be used for firmware upgrades and to import your own 3D LUTs. And that is very handy if you are working with a camera that has a specific look. So you can actually see that on the monitor. And that's very good. It is pretty easy to do as well. It is just to have a cube.file onto your memory card and then just follow the instructions on the screen. And I think you can have about 30 different profiles. So there is a lot of leverage there. Okay, tapping two time on the touchscreen will open the menu. 
and you have a lot of choices here. If you swipe from the bottom and up, you will come to the quick selection. Also, you have the possibility to disable the touch function. That can be done pretty easy by just pushing the button at the side. And now touch it off and I can't do anything. I'll just push it one more time and touch it on and I can control things again. Also, if the screen is divided in this way that on this side, you can control the backlight. And if you have audio in, um, coming in from the other side, you can control the audio level right here. That is also a pretty nice and very useful feature. So this is one of the most brightest monitors I have ever worked with. And uh, I want to make a test where I go outside in the sunlight and test it out. So without further ado, let's do that test. So the monitor has 2200 nits, which is quite nice when shooting outside. On this test, I'm using my pocket cinema camera, a video assist and the anti sin Okay, so if we look at the pocket screen, we hardly can see anything. At the video assist, it's a little more difficult, but at the anti sin you will actually see the screen outside. And I know on this video, it's a little bit hard to see because of the re reflections, but uh, trust me, it is very clear when outside. And that is actually what you need when you're shooting outside. If you want to monitor your audio, the Andy Cine 7C got you covered because it has a headphone jack. So you can actually use that to monitor your audio coming out via the HDMI cable. And it's not all cameras do have a mic jack and a headphone jack in the same body. So that is a very lovely and nice feature as well. Also, the Andy Cine monitor has pro features such as waveform, histogram, vector scope. You can even have focus peaking. And of course, it also has the addition of false color that will make it possible for you to get the right exposure for your shot. Also, the addition of the anamorphic mode is quite useful. Uh, these days, there are coming a lot of cheap anamorphic alternative lenses out, but it's not all cameras that can actually show you what you're shooting. And the Anison can do that in different variations. It can show you the most common one is uh, X 1.33. And that is what the serial lenses are using. And they could show that all the way up to uh, X 2.0, I think. And it is a very nice feature and it will let you do a nice composition of your shot. Again, a super nice feature. And it isn't a feature you would expect in a budget friendly monitor like this one. So for me, it's hard to find uh, negative things about the Andy Cine 7 inch monitor. It is a great monitor. It works very well. It does what it's supposed to do and it gives you a lot of pro features you would not expect from a monitor in this price range. That being said, uh, if I wanted Anison to change something, it might be the, the built quality of it. It's hard plastic, but um, compared to other monitors like the Blackmagic Video Assist, for instance, which I'm using to record this session with, and that's made out of metal and that's really rocket. But then again, it's also way more expensive than this monitor and it doesn't have the same features. So you win some, you lose some, I guess. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.